Hello everyone and welcome back to Send It's Weather Channel. Today, today we're going to be taking a look at our latest updates um, for the 10 day trend. We're going to have a quick look at the 10 day forecast but today we're going to focus on Storm Kirk. Now in, as you will have seen in yesterday's video, um, the positioning of Storm Kirk was still slightly uncertain and many of the runs had adjusted it so most had brought it further south. The GFS was being very bullish in bringing the low pressure through the central part of the UK bringing bouts of heavy rain um, to much of the UK, um, as, as well as winds from the northeast um, for Scotland, bringing um, rain and even possibly wintry showers over the mountains. Um, but we deduced from the data that it was most likely that the southeast was going to get hit the hardest with Storm Kirk, ex-Hurricane Kirk, but I'm just going to call it ex-Hurricane Kirk for purposes, because once it reached our shores, it needs diminished. So if you do enjoy this video then please make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more. Let's start. So this is Wednesday the 9th of October. <laughs> Almost forgot my train of thought. Um, this here is Hurricane Kirk. Oh yes. So as it moves through as you can see it's far south as the jet stream has it carried very far south. So this is the jet stream here the black line is the jet stream and as you can see low pressure systems get carried along the jet stream and this low is th further south than yesterday it was showing on the GFS this is the 12z run as you can see the low skirts between the south southeastern south southeast corner of England and mostly France so on this run heavy rain would be expected in France and southeast England possibly could be very heavy rainfall could also spread into East Anglia and the London area for example but the effects would be well bad for these areas but minimal for other areas as they're in, they're, they're in sort of a slack northeasterly winds with showers coming in from the north and east but it wouldn't be too bad for the rest of the country so if we have a look at the rest of the run because we said we would and we'll look back at the precipitation later with wxcharts.com um so as you can see then after this we go into a northerly wind as low pressure moves away to the east uh, we stay in a northerly wind so pretty cool cool and showery um, high, the high pressure starts to build in from from the west, and we're going to more of a southwesterly flow. Can't get me words out today. Um, and then we're going to more of a southwesterly flow. The high builds over the country, bringing much much dry weather. So Saturday and Sunday doesn't look awful. Saturday might be a little bit unsettled in the north, but uh, as the high builds in, shouldn't be too bad. And by Monday, um, we remain in the high pressure, under high pressure, and winds are in from the southwest, so not looking too bad. However, this low is rattling in from off the Atlantic on Tuesday and Wednesday, bringing bouts of wet and windy weather, then bringing another northerly, and then high pressure builds once again over the country. Could be could be some frost and fog associated with this. Um, by, well, two weeks out now, so everything, everything past about the 15th is uncertain. Well, about the 12th, to be honest, is uncertain. <laughs> Even the next few days are uncertain with this Storm Kirk, where it's exactly going to go, because it will produce some bad impacts wherever it lands. Um, but yeah, after this... Um, Laws rattle through, laws rattle through, but high, the high pressure looks to be more dominant. So if you like your drier weather, then this period is for you, according to the GFS 12 set. Now we'll take a look at GM, see what that is showing. So as you can see, there's that low to our east, bringing wet, um, low to our west, bringing wet and windy weather to Ireland and um, western parts of the UK. As it fades away, there's, there's Hurricane Kirk here, a little bit earlier with this one, Tuesday, Tuesday at um, 6 o'clock. On a night, as you can see, along the jet stream it travels, and it is way to our south. Way, way to our south. Um, might just clip the southern, southeastern corner yet again. More France is getting affected by this, but as you can see, it just moves off. Moves off to our east, and we barely get affected, and we stay in a chilly, northerly wind. Another low develops over the top of the country later on, and that put, brings in another northerly wind, and the high pressure is more centred towards Greenland, meaning that we stay in a slack, northerly flow. Dry but cold. Cool. Cool's a better word. I'm feeling pretty cool. <laughs> that was bad. But um, this low pressure does rattle through, bringing bouts of wet and windy weather for Scotland. Could even be a little bit of snow. Wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't put it off with um, the conditions seen here. And we remain an overly wind until the very end. So again, GM brings it south. There will be minimal impacts with this, as you'll see in a minute. Finally, the ECM. Oops, just spoiled the end of the run. Sorry. <laughs> That low pressure rattles in um, through Monday, Tuesday, bringing wet and windy weather to some parts. Obviously, there'll be a few showers associated with this. There's the low pressure down there. There's there's ex-Hurricane Kirk. 
just to ourselves over France. As you can see, we would get a slight impact from this as it moves through. It moves sort of like this as it carried along by the jet stream. Um, so southeastern, again, I'd say more of this area is going to be covered. Well, more, more of this area is likely to be to see rain. So more further inland with this um, from the ECM than the other runs. But as again, as this clears out, very similar pattern. All the winds set back in. And then by about Sunday, Sunday, a little bit earlier with this, the high pressure's already built in. And wow, it goes into more of a southerly flow, southeasterly flow. Um, so temperatures will come up with that. And above average, you won't be able to see that because it's not processed yet, but temperatures will go above average. Um, but what, what I do want to know is that we've, even with this Storm Kirk, X Hurricane Kirk, whatever you want to call it, it will, even if it does track south and only bring some rain to the southeast, it will be very heavy if it does hit this area, which I assume it will. I'd say there's about a 70% chance of it at least hitting the UK at this stage. Maybe, maybe it'll miss. Maybe it'll go into the channel and France. But I would say there is a very strong chance of, um, heavy rain hitting the southeast, which will be disruptive possibly. But do not forget that in these north easterly winds, with the with this low pressure here, which even though it's very weak, will be bringing lots of wet and wet weather basically for the um, for the UK um, at this stage. There's going to be showers. There's going to be showers. Could even be a low here, which some of the runs are showing today um, around Friday, Thursday, Friday. A lot of them do bring in this high pressure though and make it quite dry towards the end of the run. So that this could be very pleasant for mid October after spells of wet weather. So we'll take a look at the charts. Um, so this is the um, GFS, <laughs> and we'll have a look at the 12Z run. This is the latest one, which I've just shown you, associated with that run. So, there's that There's that um, weather front moving through on Sunday, Sunday night at 6 o'clock. That's not changed. Still could be quite heavy in patches for Manchester, Birmingham area. Moves through. Monday, not too bad. Tuesday, this, this next system moves through ahead of the low pressure. And as you can see, this is that low spinning up, even though it's not that deep, 987 millibars. It's spinning up rain showers through much of the UK, so hit and miss showers. There's um, Hurricane Kirk, ex-Hurricane Kirk there, just to our just to our west, I mean our east, sorry, geez. just to our east, and just to our southeast, sorry. And you can see here, it is barely clipping the southeast corner, but it would only take a subtle shift for the London area to be affected, and as you can see, there's some extremely heavy rainfall rates mixed in with this, um, but as you can see still, these northeasterly winds are bringing in low, these mini lows and lots of lots of rain for most of the country and beyond that unsettled and drying out towards the end so next we'll take a look at the gem the 12z run see what that is showing for this period um obviously that rain tomorrow um about six o'clock very consistent there will be a, some sort of rain then a few more showers could be could be heavy bursts mixed in through tuesday monday doesn't look awful maybe a few showers moving up from the south and showers across central southern scotland uh, then this low rattles through there's lots of showers according to this if this is correct from the gm on tuesday um it could be quite heavy scotland you, you just just bringing up these on these winds from the north northeast bringing in spells of wet wet weather maybe even a little bit of snow over the scottish mountains i was about that there's there's storm kirk just to our southeast again but it's further southeast it's into brussels and amsterdam more the netherlands france it's covering it's not as heavy with this as well so we kind of stay in these westerly then northerly winds you can see it could be quite some heavy snow according to this um over the scott over the scottish highlands would not even rule it out to elevations above 500 meters so bremar that sort of area Possibly, and then it dries out as the high builds back in. So overall, looks unsettled until around day day eight with the GM, and this low doesn't really affect the UK too badly. Thank goodness. There's a weather, there is a weather front there though associated with that low, which does bring a little bit of rain to the south, as you can see there, and to the rest of the country as it moves down. But it doesn't look too bad. Finally, the ECM, the British Isles. Higher as this model, so it'll show things to a better degree. We've talked about this already. It could be some wet and windy weather through um, Sunday. Monday doesn't look awful. A few patchy showers, so it could be hit and miss. Tuesday, band of rain moving up from the south, um, bringing spells of wet weather for most of the country. Birmingham northwards, Cardiff northwards. In fact, it starts at the southwest if you look there, so most of the country will be affected by that. Wednesday, that low, there's a mini low here. There could be some heavy rain on, on the eastern flank. Um, East Anglia. There's the low on Thursday. Um, again, not 
affecting the UK and zipping eastwards. <laughs> so it does not affect us, thank goodness. Very heavy rain for France. Northern France, just imagine if this was 50 miles further north, what impacts this would have, thank goodness, because it's been very wet recently. But again, these winds will be bringing in the odd showers. It actually looks a lot drier with the ECM through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but there will still be showers around. And then as we go into this this southeasterly wind, south southerly southeasterly wind, um, it dries out as we're built under high pressure. So again, lots to play for, but things have developed in the last few days. Still looks cold even after this low moves to the east, no matter where it hits. Um, the southeast does look likely to be, possibly be hit by Storm Kirk. The rest of England and Wales, um, southwest Scotland, do not look as likely to be affected by Storm Kirk, but I wouldn't rule it out completely. So um, let me know what you think to this video. If you enjoyed and found it informative, then please do leave a like and make sure to follow me on Twitter as well. Link's in the description. We're trying to reach 50 subscribers. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying that after yesterday being on 28. But thank you all for subscribing. If we could hit that, that'd be great. We appreciate it. Can we hit 10 likes on this video? Um, and thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.